Hi, Red here, and today I'm going to teach you how you can texture paint using an external program with Blender. So I'm going to pop into Blender and start modeling and unwrapping my object. I will, however, speed up the process because I've already covered these topics in my previous videos. And I'm going to go and assume that you already know how to set up your object for texture painting. However, if you do not know how to do this, that's okay. I have a video right here that you can check out and that can help you out. One way you can also do it is you can also slow down this video and follow along. First thing I want to do is I'm going to hop into preferences to set up our drawing program. So let's go into preferences and file path. Then under applications, find your exe file to your preferred drawing program. Also, make sure to save preferences. I'm going to be using Krita and I'm going to explain why a little bit later. But first, let's pop into tools and then options and external. And the thing we're going to be doing is quick edits. But before that, let's set our screen grab size and then make sure we're in viewport shading so we can see what's going on. And then make sure we're in orthographic view. So when we take a screen grab, it's going to come out just right. When you click quick edit, it's going to open up Krita and make a screen grab of your viewport. And then you can simply just start painting. So I recommend doing this on a separate layer above your original layer. I'm not going to paint here myself. I'm going to actually use a gradient tool for this particular object because I'm making a crystal. I think this is one of the strengths of using an external drawing program is you can use so many cool brushes that Blender does not have. Now, once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and hide your base layer and then click save. And then to show up in Blender, all you got to do is click apply. There you have it. Now, that's pretty nice, but I also want to fix a little bit of my edges there. As you can see, my selection wasn't as clean, so I'm going to go and increase the size just a little. Now that's pretty awesome, but as you can see, we only got one side textured. And the reason is it only projects from your view. So we can do this three more times, but there's another way we can do this. And that is through painting the textures themselves. So for this phase, I'm going to use Clip Studio Paint. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to save the textures and then open our drawing program. Then I'm also going to save my UV layout. And then I'm going to simply just open them up in Clip Studio Paint. You can use Photoshop or whatever you want. And then I just use the UV layout there just to know where my topology is. Then you can just start painting on a new layer or on top of your base layer. Since my object is quite simple, I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste it three more times. And that way it's going to be much quicker than having to paint it manually. I think this is one of the strengths of using this method. And then collapse all layers and hide your UV layout and then click save. Now back in Blender, we're going to go into texture painting and we're going to import our new texture. So you could use reload if you had the same name convention, but I'm going to use replace. And there we have it. Our object is now fully textured using an external program. I think this is pretty neat, but I want to show you one last thing. So the last thing I want to show is actually how to draw straight lines. I had some people that wanted to know about how to do this. So it's really simple. Uh, you go into stroke under tools and then you change it to line like that. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna show my wireframe just so it's a little bit easier. And then I just drag to get the look that I want. This is a really simple way to get straight lines without much hassle inside Blender. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful and I hope to see you in the next one and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one.